So today I'm going to show you how to install this USB dash cam adapter for your home link mirror. As you can see, all it really is is an inline adapter with a couple wires coming off to power the USB port for the dash cam. Should be a pretty easy install. Let's put it in. So this adapter eliminates the need for running the USB cable all the way down and around. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rotate your mirror down and out of the way. Second step is going to be putting your index finger up above this U-shaped piece here, directly above the stem of the mirror. And just kind of hold that because it's going to want to go flying as you pry it off. That piece, set that aside. And to make this a little bit easier to remove this clip here, I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to push the button. Now the next step that you're going to want to do is take your adapter you're going to plug this free hang cable into the back side of that connector. And then you're going to take the other end of that, plug that back in. And now you have a little bit of cable here that you're going to want to tuck up in here, which can do just like so. Now you have your USB cable free floating here. I'm going to clip this right here where it needs to be about. I'm going to take the existing amount of cable and I'm just going to tuck it up behind that plastic shroud. Now I'm going to plug it into the USB cable. I'm going to take all this excess. I'm just going to tuck it up in there where it will hopefully not rattle around. And that's in there pretty tight, so I don't think there's going to be much rattling. Now before I turn the power to the car on, I'm just going to connect my camera. And it just mounts magnetically right there. And you just heard the camera make its startup sound, which means it now has power. So that's a good sign. There's the shutdown sound, and that means that it just lost power from the car, so now it's running on its own internal battery. Okay, so something I realized is that to put that cover back in place, this connector can't be sitting right here because it prevents the clip from engaging. So all I'm gonna do is take that connector and I'm gonna swing it around to the left side. Now that it's on the left side there, let's see if we can get the cover in place. But it's a nice clean install. Last step is just gonna be readjusting my, my mirror. So on the way out, I'll give you guys a little glimpse of what my efficiency has been the last few days. As always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. More videos coming in the next week or so. Take care.